In this video, I will demonstrate how to connect to a Microsoft SQL Server database from Microsoft Excel using VBA Macro. Before we begin, please click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next videos. Thank you. In this video, I am using an example table called Customers, which consists of fields such as Customer ID, Customer Name, Contact Name, Address, City, Postal Code, and Country. I've taken reference for this table from w3school.com. This is the Excel VBA macro file used in the video. In the Visual Basic Editor, under References, the following reference is utilized for connecting to SQL Server, and it doesn't require any additional drivers. This reference is crucial for establishing a connection with SQL Server directly from Excel using VBA, eliminating the need for any additional drivers. These are the parameters used for connecting to the database, such as DSN, Server Name, User, Password, and Database Name. These parameters will be utilized every time a connection to the database is established. This is an example of VBA code. First, declare variables for a DoDB connection and record set. In this code, we begin by declaring variables CN for the DoDB connection and RS for the record set. Following that, we retrieve parameters for connecting to the database that we've stored in the reference sheet. Next, set the variable CN as the DoDB connection and RS as the DoDB record set. After that, set the connection string to the database based on the specified parameters, and open the connection to the database. This is an example of a query being performed. Next, open the record set with the SQL string and connection parameters. Finally, close it with rs.close and cn.close to terminate the connection to the database. This is the result when the test connection button is pressed, which is used to test the connection to the database. Next, let's look at another code, specifically for displaying the header of a table. The table we will access is written in the range C2. The code is similar to what I explained earlier, with the only difference being in the SQL string and how to display the obtained record set, which is only the header. When the button is pressed, it will display the header for the customer's table, which includes customer ID, customer name, contact name, and so on. In the next code, we will display the data. The query is written in cell F2. The code is similar to before, with the only difference being the SQL string that can be modified, and how to display the data in cells using a loop until the record set reaches the end. Certainly, let's try a query to display data based on the input query in cell F2. Make sure we have a valid SQL query in cell F2 before running the code. Next up is the code for editing the database, such as executing update and delete queries. The query string will be entered in cell F3. The code is similar to the previous one, but it only executes the query without displaying any data in cells. Certainly, let's try executing an insert query to add new data to the table. Ensure we have a valid SQL insert query in cell F3 before running the code. Run a select query to check if the recently inserted data has been successfully recorded in the table. Okay, it turns out the data has been successfully recorded in the database. Next, let's try the next query, which is the update query.
Next, let's proceed to the delete query. Thank you for watching. In this experiment, we were able to establish a connection to the Microsoft SQL Server database and execute queries from Microsoft Excel using VBA macros. I have shared an example Excel file, and you can find the link in the video description. See you in the next video.